Greetings. This is a quick video review over the Unity UI system, uh, mainly because there seemed to be quite a bit of confusion on it in class, so I wanted to give you guys something to review on at your own pace. So my goal for what I'm going to create is I want a panel, well, basically what I have here on the notepad, I want a panel that's going to take up 50% of my screen width and 80% of my screen height, and I want that centered on the screen. So I'll have this nice little box uh, centered on the screen with, you know, 25% borders on either side of it uh, for the width and not quite taking up the whole uh, screen height. And then inside of that, I'm going to place three buttons. I want each of the buttons to almost take up the whole width of the panel. So the buttons will take up 90% of the panel width. And I'm going to evenly distribute them. One button 5% down from the top, another button 5% up from the bottom, one button centered. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm going to get uh, my panel dropped in first, which will also uh, create the, the GUI. Now I've got my uh, hierarchy off to the side, um, but you'll I still have my inspector here for you guys to see the values. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've got that. Of course, I don't want the panel set uh, like that, so my... Uh, over oops and actually I was moving the wrong button all right so grab the anchor points where the anchor points is what gives you your percentages so drag this over 25 so yep 0 0.25 clean that up and see here this should be 0 0.9 Oops, no, 0.1. And then this should be 0.75, and then this should be 0.9. So that gives me my anchor points, and then adjust my borders. Remember, when you modify your anchor points, Unity is going to assume that you do not want to change the shape of the UI element, and so it will change the border offsets to match. So now my anchors are set to um, give me a 25% boundary on my left and my right, and a 10% boundary on my top and my bottom, which I just realized if I go back here and read this, that's wrong. I want it taking up 90% of the width. I have it only taking up 80%, so I need to come back and modify this to be 0, 5, and 9, 5. And then, of course, modify my top and bottom boundaries again. Okay, now it's correct. Now I have 25% on either side, so 50% off, 50% on, 5% on top and bottom, so my heights are correct now for my panel. Now I can add in my first button. I'm going to make sure the panel the panel is selected. Which again, I'll drag my hierarchy over here. I don't need that much screen space, I guess. Uh, so I have my panel selected, and right-click UI button. Make sure that button's parented in. I want the button to take up 90%. <coughs> so I need to um, zoom in here a little bit. Grab, again, those triangles is what determines our scaling. So 5% on either side, 0 0.05 and 0 0.95. That gets me that, and I'll probably set 10%, let's do 10%. That's going to be a kind of a thick button. Oops, that should be 0 0.95. It's going to be a little bit of a thick button, but that is fine. Now, I said originally I wanted this to be 5% from the top. Probably should have done that first because I just messed up my other values. So now, so you can see I've got 5% on the top, which is 0 0.95. I want my button, ahem, 95. And I want my button to be 10%, so 0 0.85 on that. Fix this to be 0 0.5, 0 0.95. Now I can fix my borders, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now I've got that big fat button. Again, to review what I did. 
I initially placed the anchors where I wanted them, although I did kind of get a little bit out of sequence on that, and determined that I wanted this button to be 10% thick, uh, take up 10% of my panel. Remember, this, these percentages are of the panel, not the window, because I am currently, this UI element is parented to the panel. Therefore, all of it, everything is relative to your parent container. So I've got my X min set to 0 0.05, uh, my X max set to 0.95, so that gives me my 90%. I am 5% from the top, and I have 10% thick. Now I'm going to duplicate this button. Um, or you, alternatively, you can also just add in a new button, um, which almost might be easier due to the fact that we've got a whole bunch of things to modify. Uh, you know what, I'll just go ahead and add in um, a button and just re-go through everything. So I add in a button. I am going to grab uh, my anchor points, move it down to five and five. Drag this over five, and then drag this down so that it is 10, and then clean up my numbers. And now all my anchor points are set, so I can now modify my offsets. I have the button. Uh, and then for setting um, the center point, I'm going to take this button, make sure I am on. Nope, I got into the text. Got to watch out for that because I already had the button selected. And because I clicked on it, I switched to having the text selected, which is not what I want. I don't want to duplicate the text. I want to duplicate the button. And so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to use the snapping feature to snap this button to the center first. Now, I don't want to leave it like that because my anchor points are still down here, which will get things really messed up. So I will then drag the anchor points up. Now, unfortunately, the anchor points aren't going to snap. So I'm just going to be able to get them close enough and then fix them. Well, the X is pretty easy to fix. That should always be 0 0.05 and 0 0.95. Y is a little bit trickier. So it looks like I should be at 0 0.45, which means this should be 0 0.55 and then modify the tiny little bit of offset difference that I ended up with. Okay, quick note, Unity likes to do this sometimes and can be a little bit confusing the first time you see it. Um, I'm actually at zero. If I look at this number, it is telling me that I am at 5.7 with e to the negative six. So that's 5.7 and then move the decimal place to the left six times, if you don't remember your exponential notation uh, like this which is effectively zero. Um, I don't know why sometimes Unity gets really stubborn about losing that tiny little bit of error. If it really bugs you, you can fix it the way I am doing it now by entering in some other whole number, entering, changing it to zero, and re-updating it. So now I have completed everything that I want on this. I have a panel that takes up 50% of my screen width, takes up 90% of my screen height. I have three buttons. Um, the top and the bottom button are offset by 5% and the middle button is centered. Gives a nice balanced look to the UI. Play button so we can see that yeah it's not going to move once we actually get it going. And as I shrink allow this to shrink and expand, the buttons maintain their space. Uh, about the only other possible thing I might want to add to this is uh, changing the text on all of these. So I'm expand everything out. Useful trick, if you select the same 
if, if all of the objects that you select have the same component lists, then you can go in and in mass modify their settings. So I can in mass come in here and say, okay, I want you all to be best fit. And let's say my minimum size is 20 and I, whoops, minimum size is 20. And I will make my max size uh, 45. No, and apparently it won't let me do. Okay, it's being a little bit pokey there, but uh, min size 14, max size 45. Now I've got a little bit larger buttons, and and apparently it won't let you go past 14. That's a new one on me. I usually don't move move it higher than that, but apparently that's what it does. Okay. So a little bit off the cuff, but that shows the process again. Um, you guys can review this uh, as you need. I'll try to get a little bit more formal video up uh, with a little bit better structuring uh, in a couple days. Until then.